Oh man, guys, I have not been this excited to do some wild and crazy fishing in some time. I'm out here on the river with my buddy Dakota. You've seen him out with us a lot. And we're at a new spot. Well, it's not a new spot, but we haven't been here in like a year. And every time about this year, we're in February now, um, this place gets loaded up with a bunch of big, crazy, wild, monster-sized fish. Um, there's some big, nasty, invasive ones. There's some native fish. And it can just be a lot of fun. It's a great change of pace. You know, we've been fishing all winter long. It's been cold, been raining. It's, we still have some more of that weather in the forecast. Um, but we're kind of fishing the same spots, you know, kind of our, you know, our normal hot spots. And I was getting a little tired, a little burnout. out. So we wanted to do something to mix it up today. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. If you look up here, we got the big rods and they are rigged up with some heavy duty terminal tack. We got some big old weights and we got some big old snag hooks. We're gonna do some snagging. Some of y'all may not like the snagging. I don't always like to snag, but it's one of the only ways you can catch these fish. It pretty much is the only way you can catch these fish. You know, the big Asian carp, the big carp, silver carp, and there's all sorts of other things that we can hook into today. Some wild and crazy river monsters. And the reason we do this is because number one, it's fun. It's, it's fun to hook a giant fish and fight them. Number two, these are, you know, a non-regulated, just crazy invasive fish species that needs control. So we're gonna do everything in our power to help alleviate some of the stresses that they cause in this river by getting them out of here. And also they taste kind of good. So we're gonna catch and cook some of these fish for y'all today if we catch some. And uh, I'm excited because this is a great time here to catch these fish. Dakota says they've been biting. Oh yeah. Or they've been chilling, they've been hanging out here. And there's a great chance we could hook into something gigantic. And in the past, y'all have really seemed to like these videos. So we're out here, we're changing things up and we're gonna try to put the biggest fish we can in this boat there. We're gonna weigh them. We're gonna do a challenge, 1v1, to see who catch the heaviest fish. I'm not sure what the loser has to do, but we're gonna see who catch the biggest fish, no matter what it is. But hopefully y'all are excited for today's adventure. If so, do us a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully we can put some big old giant slimy fish in this boat today. Let's go. All right, we are here at the spot. The mouth's a little pocket. There's like some uh, spillway pipes that come out from right there, and the fish like to congregate here where this hits the main river. Got the big rod in hand. I got all three of my big daddy rods in hand. Um, got 50 pound test leader, got 30 pound braid. That might be a little light, but it should be all right. And then we've got a big snag hook on the business end. I got a three ounce weight. We're just gonna start slinging around and there's usually a lot of rough fish up here. I mean, there's all sorts of carp and buffalo, even a few paddlefish here and there. That'd be pretty cool to get some of them. Only thing about paddlefish is you can only keep two each. And once you hit your two paddlefish, you have to stop snagging completely. So I'm honestly hoping we don't hit any paddlefish right oh, off the bat. Oh, what was that? That was a big bowfin, dude, clear as day. That was crazy. I'm really here just to smack some big old Asian carp. Who's gonna get the first one? It was Cole me. Is. It was me. I got something. You got something. <laughs> On cue. I hope it's a fish. It kind of feels like a stick. It's not fighting. Might be like this little tiny gar or something. Come on, fishy. It's not fighting, Dakota. Mud puppy. Is it even a creature? It's a little gar. Oh, fun. It's a little gar. It's a little gar. It's a little tiny gar. Oh, man. Let's Can you take release back home to the pond. Him? Yeah, I don't know. Well, there we go. First fish of the day is a small little short nosed gar. He was honestly just barely hooked. Um, we're going to just go ahead and send him back. Any and all of the invasive fish species that we catch, we're going to keep. If we snag any game fish, we'll keep them. With that being a rough fish, I think you can let them go. Pretty sure it's okay. I think so. Yeah, I think it's okay. Um, yeah, if you snag like any game fish, like we snag like a, I don't even know, like a catfish, you gotta throw them in the box. And I think it's half the limit. So like the limit on catfish is 10. So if we snag in, we can keep five catfish. Pretty sure that's the rule. But we're on the board. I need to scoot up a little bit so you can get in the hole. Oh, you're good. Yeah, that'd be cool. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Coda's got something. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I had something on mine too. Can we get up here? I'll cut my line. Oh, you're good. I think you could just be able to pull it off. I don't want to get in a predicament. He ran right into me. Okay. All right. All right. We got him, guys. All right. Feels decent. Dakota is hooked up. Oh, look at that rod, guys. Custom Coral Snake 12 footer. <laughs> How'd you wrap it? Did you wrap it with tape? I did wrap it with tape, but in heat. It looks amazing. Feels like a good fish. It looks like a good fish. I don't know what it is. Ain't running like a carp. 
What is it? I don't know. Hotness monster. Oh, oh, it's a paddle. paddle fish. It's a paddle. Dinner. We got dinner. He ain't a bad one either. Dude, you're halfway to being done snagging all of a sudden. I know. That's scary. That's a nice little paddle. It's not a bad one. That is cool. That is so cool. A paddle. A paddle fish. Ugh. Put him in a good spot too. I did. Look at that fish. Oh, he's pretty. Well, Dakota's on the board with our first crazy cool fish of the day, and it happens to be a paddlefish. These things are so crazy, and this is the only way you can catch these paddlefish is by snagging, unless they just randomly run into your hook or something. But I love their big old shark tail, but of course, the highlight is that huge rostrum and the mouth. Show them the mouth. Uh, Look at the mouth in that thing. That'd be the scariest thing if you were done this moon that thing came up on you. These guys are filter feeders, and that's why you can't really catch them any other method. But here in Arkansas, the limit is two paddlefish per angler. And we're going to stream it. And they're also pretty good eating. Yes, they are. A lot of people call these spoonbill catfish. They're not actually a catfish, but their texture and meat is kind of catfishy. They're in their own family. They're, called, they're in the family Polyodontidae or Polydontidae, uh, which is different than catfish, which is Ictaluridae. But yeah, you hear people call these guys spoonbill catfish, but they're actually not a catfish. More like a basking shark. More like a basking shark. That's right, buddy. That's awesome. Well, let's get them strung up. Yes, sir. Let's catch some more. What I'm doing is letting the bait sink all the way down to the bottom. It's pretty clean out there in the middle. There are some trees kind of on the perimeter. And then we're just ripping it. Oh, oh gosh, into a stick. Oh, no. No. Just see, as I said, it was clean. See if you can go over there and get it off. All right, well, I just got hung up and lost my hook and sinker, but luckily I had another rod rigged up ready to go. This mirror is actually a lot beefier than the orange one. So if I hook something really big, I should be able to get it. The reel is a little bit sus, but I think it'd be okay. Oh, it's just something reeling it in. I Did got you? something big. Oh, he came off. Carp. Dang, I was just reeling it in and hit something. Right no, here in front of the mouth too. Uh, yeah, no scales. Yeah, I was just reeling it in and hit him. Dang. No scales, it's probably a big Asian carp or a paddle. There he is. There's something, there's something big. There's something big. That's big, big. Big, big. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Dakota, this is big. <laughs> oh, right here at the mouth, right underneath the boat, it feels hefty. But they always feel really big whenever they're snagged. Oh, come on. What's he going to be? Be a big old carp. He's not really fighting. I think it's a paddle, dude. Think so? Oh, oh it's it a is. paddle. It's not a very big paddle. Oh, he's all wrapped up. Oh. I'm going down there and grab him. Going for the land. Give me your nose. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. Look at that. I harnessed him. That's crazy. What a weird and bizarre little fish. Not a monster paddlefish. <laughs> That's cool. That is so cool. About the same size as Dakota. Maybe a smidge smaller, but still going to be a good eater. Heck yeah. Not, I mean, I definitely wanted to catch some paddlefish, but hopefully we'll run into some big carp here soon so we can really get some drag power or maybe get a bigger one. But that's awesome. Two paddlefish already on the day. That's We've only been here about 10 minutes, too. That's sick. What a cool fish. His nose. Whee! <laughs> that's incredible. Okay, we're going to get him strung up, and we're going to get back out there. Oh, got to hook myself. Oh! Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guy, that looks like something nice. Felt like something nice. We are hooked up, guys. I had my stuff He about pulled up. me out of the boat. Yeah, he's nice. He's nice, nice. He's nice, nice. He was rotting the pipe over there. Oh, snap. Oh, man. I don't know what that is. Oh, he's taking you. He's taking you upstream. That's going to be a giant paddle. If that's a paddle, it's got to be a giant. Oh, snap. Oh, gosh, you're going to run me into that pipe. Don't do it. Dude, he's big. He's big, big. He seems big, big. 
Dude. <laughs> you seem a bit nervous. I am. He's got me way up there, too. What's funny is I gave Dakota this reel because it was broken. <laughs> I was like, I'm about to throw this reel in the trash. And somehow he's got that thing working. Oh my gosh. Dude, are you scared? I'm scared. It's a big one. I think it's a 100 pound alligator gar. Oh, that'd be tight. That'd be really exciting. Dude, I'm excited. I'm kind of scared. I'm scared too. I need to get these hooks out the way out here. I need to get this gaff. I, I was down there trying to get my stuff situated. I got my line all tangled up. Oh gosh. Yeah, so we also brought a gaff. He's gonna be a gaffer. I found this baby on the side of the river a long time ago and I've been holding on to it. First time I ever used it was last year or maybe two years ago with Dakota. Out here in the same spot. It's the only way to hit these big fish and get them in the boat. He worked this 12 foot rod, dude. <laughs> it's a big carp. It's a big carp, isn't it? It's a big carp, Oh, yes, that's sir. what we're after. I'm about to say, there might be no paddle, you're done. <laughs> no, big carp. Big old carp. That's what we want. I don't think he's that big. I think you're just getting smoked. That reel is still kind of broke. Oh, look at that thing. Dakota's got a big old carp. That's a fun one. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, he ain't even, he really ain't even that big. Nope. Okay, watch that hook. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to give you a better angle. I want to hit the head. Ooh, oh, yeah. <laughs> big nasty. Y'all ready to see this big old thing that Dakota got? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the blood out the boat. Is he bleeding? I think we're good. I think we're good. Look at that thing. <laughs> oh, is that a big head or? I think that's a big head. Big He's head got some car. spots on him. Look at that thing. All right. Well, we got a separate stringer that we're gonna put him on. So let's go ahead and get him rigged up on the stringer. Oh my gosh, that thing is massive. <laughs> There's bigger ones out here though. Oh yeah. All right, can I drop him? Yeah. All right, making a spot change. There's a series of two different pipes in this little area. There might be some more further upstream. I don't really know about those, but first pop was good to us. We caught a couple of paddles caught a carp, caught a couple of little gar. It was a little slow, but this other spot we're about to pull up into usually is what holds the majority of the fish that we catch when we come out here and do this snagging. Uh, I'm excited. The sun is starting to kind of set a little bit, but we still got about three hours of daylight. And um, yeah, hope, I'm, I'm really hoping to hook a big old carp. I want to wrestle something so big right now. So we're gonna ease on up in here. Usually I'm gonna be pretty stealthy because the fish, they can get spooked and swim off. So we're gonna be kind of stealthy with the troll motor down and we're gonna start slinging some lead and some treble hooks and see what happens. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> they're down there. There's, there, there's, I guess they are all both, they're all buffalo and they are down there by the bajillions. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. There we go. There Got we him. go. There we go. There we go. Hooked up. Hooked up. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is that a buff? Oh, probably. Oh, guys, we had to come all the way to the very back of this creek because the pipe is right here and it is just loaded with buffalo. <laughs> First buffalo of the day for me. Oh, I think I'm going to net him. There we go. Oh, all right. So this is a native species and they are a blast to get out here and snag also. I'm gonna get them unstuck and I'll hold them up for you guys. Got my first buffalo of the day. I'm not sure what kind this is. Black buffalo. That's what I think. Small mouth, oh, it's a smallmouth buffalo. His, his mouth's on the bottom. When you say it's on the bottom? I think, it's a small, so. I think it's a smallmouth buffalo. Nice little fish. We're gonna put him on the stringer. We're gonna take him home with us. We're gonna cook him up. Maybe today, maybe at some point. But that is cool. And it looks like there's a bunch of them down there. We've been hitting scales left and right. And finally, oh, 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 he's mad. There we go. Now we got some slime time. Ah. <laughs> he wants to get away. <laughs> we were hitting a bunch of fish and getting a lot of scales on our hooks. We decided to get right on top of them where we were hitting them at and just start ripping straight up. 
And that's how we got this guy in the boat. Get him strung up, get another one. Oh, did we just double up? I had one. Oh man, me and Dakota almost doubled up. There we go. There we go. There we go. I think it's a buff. There's no telling really though. Oh, these things fight so hard. <laughs> oh man, look at that rod bend. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good buffalo right there, fellas. Look at that thing. Where's my net? Right behind you. Where's my net? That's awesome. That's a perfect eating size fish too right there, guys. Oh, I kind of missed one. <laughs> as soon as I get down next to that tile. I know, they're right next to this piece of structure. There he is, another good keeper buffalo. The first one I caught, I think I said was a smallmouth buffalo. His mouth is kind of towards the bottom. I mean, think that, but I think these are all black buffalo. Or big mouths. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look and make sure I'm getting this right. They are buffalo though. These are, like I said, these are native species. These aren't carp. We want to get back on some Asian carp, but we'll take some of these guys. These guys are probably, uh, I'm not sure which one's the best eating. They're all pretty decent, but definitely want to serve them hot. But they sell these at restaurants. They don't sell the other two at restaurants. Uh oh, Dakota's hooked up. Uh oh, we got double trouble. Double trouble. Double trouble. Putting that coral snake rod to work. Yes, I am. Oh. Oh yeah. I don't think he's tougher. I think he's tougher than 60 pound braid. He you got him. Big oh, another little buffalo. That's another good little eating Ooh. size fish. That is. All right. Let's get these guys in the boat, get them strung up. And I think we honestly should probably consider moving back out to our other spot. I think so as well. Get back on the paddles, because yeah. we still got, we each got one paddle left we can snag. Oh. Oh, no. 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 Ah. Uh, well, we almost doubled up. It happens. He blew it. Look at that fish, though. Look at that fish. Dang. Hey, I, I think that's a big mouth. He's almost as ugly as you. I know, he's almost. <laughs> Not quite though. Yeah, I'm down. Let's go back to the other spot because now the evening's rolling in. I bet they're thick up there. Got him? Yes. Oh, oh, no. I finally hit something. It felt nice. That gummit. That's the worst part of this. You go swinging and swinging and swinging and swinging. Oh, there he is. Uh oh. There he is. Uh oh. He's, he's hit good. What I was saying is you go swinging and swinging and swinging, then you hook up and you lose him. That happened to Dakota just a second ago. Let's see if he can handle this one. I hit him pretty hard. <laughs> ah, I feel like I hit mine pretty hard too. Is this Ooh. Dakota's second paddlefish? Is it? Is he gonna have to go? Is he gonna have to go crappie fishing after this? I don't mind. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. I, wouldn't <laughs> I can imagine either. swinging that 12-foot coral snake rod is wearing you out at some point. This thing's venomous. Oh, he kind of gave up fighting. Wrapped up paddlefish. Yeah. Put her buff with it. What do you want it to be? Asian carp. It's a paddle. It's a pad. No, it's a cart. No, it's it's a cart. Yep, that's a cart. Oh, I get to gaff him. Oh, I get to gaff him. Those, yeah, those carp are right in front of the pipes up there. Here we go. We got us another Asian carp. That's what we want. Come to Papa. Oh. That's your eater. That's a silver carp. Where's your head at? Yeah. Oh. oh, I missed his head. You got it that time. Barely. <laughs> Tough fish. There we go. Second little silver carp of the day. I didn't get quite the headshot I wanted, but I got him. Not a bad one, guys. Yeah, hand him over here. That's legit, dude. That's dinner. You are the carp king. You got you one, and you got you two. Can I have one? You can have both. I don't want both. <laughs> that's enough. That's enough for me. Maybe I'll throw them, the rest of them in the garden or something. Right. Not, not a bad Good gap fertilizer. job. Can't let it go though. Not a bad gap job. Yep. No, he ain't bleeding everywhere. That's great. Yeah, it'd be illegal to release that guy. So, yes, highly. Yeah. So we're gonna string him up. String him up and do what we want to with him. Give me some, dude. 
Uh oh, Dakota's hooked up again. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh man! That is a good one right there, guys. That is a paddle. Oh. There we go. I think he has a lamprey. No, he's got a spot from one. Wow, what a beast. What a chunk. That's a nicer paddle right there. It is a nicer paddle. I mean, not jumbo in the grand scheme of paddlefish. It's not, he's all wrapped up. He's hooked in the mouth. There he is. <laughs> That's not a bad one right there, guys. Oh, <laughs> don't let him whoop you. Hoist that behemoth. Get him straightened out. Look, he's there. Look at that. He doesn't even fit in the screen. He's so big. There we go. That's a nice one. He's That's a good. He's probably like a 15 pounder, maybe. I'd say. He's they're kind heavy. of deceptive because they're so long with that big nose. He's bigger than the first two we caught. I'd say they were more like 10 pounders. Um, paddlefish can get, you know, well over 100 pounds. In this area, they really don't get that big. But that is awesome. So crazy. Look at their little eyeballs. I mean, I want to see his mouth again. Let me see his mouth again. Oh, gosh. That's crazy. And that big old tail. They look just like a shark. Those fins, everything about a paddlefish is just so wild and crazy. Shark. And Dakota's the man when it comes to hooking these paddlefish. He's been doing it for a long time. He's got this system dialed. I'm just a scrub out here trying to trying to make something work but but that fish he's done snagging for the day yep that's kind of a blessing and a curse yes it is but that's i'm okay. tired so i'm glad that's amazing good job that's dude a good one thank you that's a fish that's a fish that's a fish that's a fish here we go need some fish right here hopefully this is my guy Oh, he's trying to whoop me. He's trying to whoop me, bro. Oh my gosh. Whoa, we were in the mouth of this thing casting up in. And I couldn't hook anything. So we came up in here, started casting out. I think this might be my guy. Oh, he's not running like a carp. This might be my limit paddle fish. It shuts me down. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you guys, if it is, I am okay with that because I am wore out. Come on. Oh, Dakota, look at that thing. Ooh, oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. oh. oh, that's so cool. Oh, he's wrapped. He's wrapped. He's wrapped. Looks like a good one. That is a good one. Oh, gosh. Come on. Oh, we got this guy. That is a big one. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, look at this paddle! <laughs> Woo. That's what I'm talking about. That is what we came for. We came for carp, but we'll take the paddlefish. The carp are not as abundant as we thought they were going to be. Look at that paddlefish. This is my biggest one of the day. My first one was probably like a 10 pounder. This one here is probably 15. We've got a scale so we can waste on these fish to get an accurate read. But that is my second paddlefish of the day, meaning I can't snag anymore. But that is okay. We've been out here for a while. It's been a little bit of a grind, but it's been a lot of fun. I think we're actually probably just going to head on up out of here and not even fish for any crappie or anything. It just doesn't seem like that's going to be the move. But excited to have a couple of paddlefish. I haven't eaten them since last year. Excited to see how they taste once again because it's a fish I don't get to eat all that often. So cool. So much fun. I feel like I've never done this sort of fishing before. I encourage it just to kind of mix things up. But that is awesome. Let's get on the string and let's make our way out of here. All right. We were just curious to see how big this paddlefish was. We're putting him on this big scale. And he is a whopping 15, 16, 16, 16, 16 pounder. I mean, a fish this big, you think they weigh more, but he doesn't have a super fat belly. These river fish are a little bit more lean, but that is awesome. It's going to be a lot of meat. And like I said, I'm excited to try it out, but we're going to get him on the stream. We're going to head back to the boat ramp now and get these fish kind of situated, see if we can get them in our cooler or not. And uh, we'll see you guys when we get there. All right, just made it back to the ramp. We got our paddles. Here's the two I got. There's two Dakota caught. Basically got one 10 pounder and one 15 pounder each. It is awesome. It's gotten a little dark back out here, but that was so much fun catching these paddles. I don't have the biggest cooler in the world, but if we, if we, if we cut the head off them, they'll fit in the cooler just fine. So we're actually going to clean these guys slightly. I mean, basically just cut the head off and throw them in the cooler. We don't want them to go bad. And uh, then we're gonna cook, cook them up for supper. That's gonna be awesome. Oh man, it is so hard to hold these fish up. They are so lanky and <laughs> gangly, I don't even know. I think this is the best way just to just, just 
just ninja him, just ninja. like that. Cross. <laughs> but that is just, that's crazy. These are the craziest looking fish in the world. Oh baby, we are in the kitchen and we are cooking up some paddlefish. I thought about cooking up some Asian cart, but I decided to just go for the paddlefish. I honestly do not remember how these things taste. Last year I had some and they were pretty good, I think. Um, but I just honestly don't remember hardly anything about it. So I've got to season it with some Cajun seasoning. We're about to do a flip. we season it on both sides. Ow! Well, that looks good. This is just a small piece of filet off of those fish. I had a lot of meat come off of them. I just wanted to do a little sampler tonight. You can see it is cooking up quite nice. And I am so ready to give you all the official taste test. All right, there's the paddlefish. Fresh off the skillet, I've got it on a bed of white rice. And I went on ahead and decided to grab a few chunks of that Asian cart. Um, these are just some little strips. I had the, the fillets had a lot of bones in them, so these are some pieces that I got off that didn't have any bones. I got some more in my bowl. But I decided to do a sampler of a couple of the fish pieces that we caught today. The last time I ate the Asian carp, I liked it a lot, but I remember I just fried it. So we're going to do it here in the skillet like we did the paddlefish with some Cajun seasoning. And uh, we'll see which one tastes the best. I think it was better to do a, uh, a comparison between the Asian carp and the paddlefish. But it looks pretty good. It doesn't seem like it's very flaky. I think it's kind of more like kind of a, a tougher texture, but we'll see. Check it out, guys. Here is our finished product. On the left, we have our paddlefish. And on the right, we have our Asian carp. And it appears that the Asian carp is a lot more flaky than the paddlefish. And I think I remember that being true last time I cooked it too. It smells really good. It looks good. You can see it's just a little bit more tough. And I'm not sure if it's something that I did that caused it to be that way. I, like I said, I don't cook it very often. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. And I am very eager to get this taste test underway. It, it seems very hot, but I'm just going to go straight for it. I remember last time that the uh, the Asian carp specifically tasted better when it was hot, which is pretty normal for eating fish. Um, once it cooled off, it got a little grimy, got a little kind of fishy, but we're gonna go straight in for it. Yeah, it's definitely flagging a park. I got a little bit of rice. It looks so hot. There it is. This is just my standard, you know, little plate of fish that I like to make all the time. And I lost it. And we got it back. Here we go. Let's go for it. Hey, it's hot. Ooh. I think it tasted good. <laughs> it was so hot. Let me try again. I'm just gonna do a piece of carp without any rice. Tastes good to me. Really no fishy flavor at all, just tastes like fish. And it really actually tastes good, I like it. That was really good, that was great. Okay, we've sampled the carp. Now I'm really interested in the paddlefish. Let me get a chunk of that off there. It's definitely tougher, I feel like I need to cut it with a knife. Kinda got that texture that I, that I talked about I don't really like with like freshwater drum. Hopefully it'll be okay. There is a chunk paddlefish fresh from the river, going down the hatch. That's a big chunk, hopefully it's good. <laughs> okay, so definitely different. Definitely has its own flavor. Um, definitely a little tough, not my favorite but not terrible. Definitely not terrible. I would say that that was probably like a, I'd rate it like a six out of 10, <laughs> but it's not terrible. It's definitely palatable. And I'm sure that there are some great ways you can cook it and make it taste better, but it's in the standard, just like pan searing with Cajun seasoning. Um, it's a little tough. It kind of disappoints me. I bet it's better fried. And I feel like last year when I had this, I didn't fry it. I think that I cooked it the same way. But it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm definitely going to eat it all. Um, and I have more to experiment with later on, which I definitely plan to do so with. But for now, this is what I have. This is what I'm going to eat tonight. And we're going to make the most of it. 
But with that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun going down there to the river, to the old snag hole. We might go back down there again soon while the snagging is hot. Hopefully maybe snag up some more Asian carp and some big ones. But if you all enjoyed the video and you would like to see more videos like this, please give this one a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And we will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.